We'll continue on with our evaluation of D2L by going over how to create HTML content. So we previously went over um, the content tab. So we'll go ahead and click on that again. And we'll click on our week one section that we've already set up. And I have went ahead and I took off the um, Word document file I previously put on there. And what we want to add to it now is the HTML content. And to do that, we want to click on New, and we want to go down to Create a File. And we'll go ahead and click that, and this will open up an HTML text box that should function very, very similar, similarly to any type of text box um, you've ever used on any type of internet forum before. So up in the top title, we'll just put testing up there, since we're testing this for everybody. And I have some text that I've already found that I'll go ahead and paste in. Um, so you, as the instructor, you will type whatever um, information you would want into this box or you, you would paste it in here. And then maybe you'd want to add in an image. So to do that, we're going to click on this camera button up at the top. And we have really two major options for adding in a photo. One option is just use a URL link that you found online. So if you found your picture on, let's say, Google Images, if you right click and save the images URL, you could paste that in right here and it would pop that image up for you. And you could just click add and you'd be good to go. Um, the image that I found, I went ahead and saved it on my computer. And if you do that, you can click this upload button and I'll open up a folder and mine is just a cute laboratory puppy so i'll go ahead and i will name that puppy for people who are using a screen reader and i'll go ahead and click ok and you can see that i'll add my picture right into my html document now um, you'll have a save box that comes up. We're going to we're gonna want to go ahead and click save and close so that this will save for us. And that has been created successfully for me. Now what we're seeing right here is how this should appear to any students who open this up. So I'll, I'll show you that. We'll go here, we click on week one, click on testing, and that will pop it right up for us. So this again is appearing how it should appear for students.